Hallelujah. Discern your vulnerabilities. Discern your weaknesses. There are people who cannot see women. There are people who cannot see men. There are people who cannot see pleasure. Once they see a nice car, something in them starts shaking. Who is the owner of this car? I must know the person. Huh? Nice house. There are people who are almost getting arrested right now because they can go and lie down on somebody's car just because they want to claim it. It's not just your desire to have it. Sometimes it is lost. Are we together? Most times offense comes when expectations are disappointed. Sometimes offense comes when your lust is not actualized. Please listen to me, Koinonia. You are hearing this preacher talk to you because I want you to last. I do not want anybody to receive that statement Ichabod, in their lives. You must obtain grace. Find out what your vulnerabilities are. Pray, flog it, and create systems by grace to protect yourself. There are others your weakness is food. It sounds funny. Food. Gluttony. Except you don't see food. You will misbehave no matter what you are wearing. Once food comes around, you lose your, di your, your uh, uh, dignity, lose your decorum, and you will fight. You are sweating, trying to make sure you get one and get another one. Oh, the remaining the juice. And you, you, you become disoriented in the presence of food. You can collect food from children and you are laughing while you are eating their food. It's lost. Gluttony. Are we learning? Lay your hands on your head. Don't pray yet. Just lay your hands on your head. I want you to think in one minute. What is that one thing? If you were Satan, what will you use to bring you down? Start praying over it now. What is that one thing? Please pray sincerely. If you were Satan, what is that one thing you would use to bring you down? Be very honest and talk to the Lord. Lay your hands on your head and cry. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. I was broke the other day, you may say. I found myself trying to arrange a preacher to come and preach and manipulate members and raise money for me because I need to pay my rent. This issue of finances, Lord help me before it tears me into pieces. Go ahead and pray. Nothing to be ashamed of, this is church. For some of you, your weakness is lying. Once you open your mouth, 80% of what you are saying is not the truth. Even if you swear by the name of the Lord, you are still lying. Pray and say, Lord, help me. I've chained myself and my destiny. Lying on stage as a preacher in the name of Jesus. Exaggerating things and telling lies. For some is pride. Full of ourselves. Please go ahead and pray. Don't feel condemned, but pray. There are people today because of money and titles. They are 50 years, but they have said they are 35 years. Because they must get it by force. People have forged documents today. Forged all kinds of, including Christians. Simply because they are looking for opportunities. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, lift your voice and pray. Ask God to show mercy. What's that your rest on me song again? Find a comfortable key and sing that rest on me song again. Please pray for one minute. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me.
rest on me. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Hear me. The thing with weakness, even if it is one more year left for you on earth, you can rubbish everything good you have done simply because you did not address this. Seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, it says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance. Give yourself an assignment. If you need to take a day off to cry before God, go and cry before God. You can't lie to God. Roll on the ground and say, your majesty, this is me coming before you. I want to last. Help me. Hallelujah. God bless you for listening to the sermon. If you're here to give your life to Christ, say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins and surrender my life. Wash me clean. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day for my victory. I believe that in my heart and make confession with my mouth that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. God bless you. Congratulations. You are now free.